Originality.ai in this corner versus Winston.ai in this corner. These are two titans in the AI detection market that are two of the leaders in the marketplace for AI detection. We're going to find out which one performs the best when I use ChatGPT, which is here. I'm going to create a totally AI generated article and see the scores for originality.ai, the human score versus AI score. And I'm also going to do the same with Winston AI. I own both these tools. So we're going to, I'm going to take you through it and see how well they detect AI generated content and take you through the dashboard, show you all the features of each one. And if you're deciding between the two of them or you want to try them both out, uh, feel free or none of the above. That's fine as well. But what I'm going to do here is just take you through both of them and see how well that they detect AI generated content as well as give you some a few tips as well inside this video. So with that being said, let me go over to chat GPT here. And I'm using uh, something called AI PRM. That's where I get all these prompts. And I have chat GPT plus I pay for $20 a month. I use the G GPT four model when I'm creating content. When I do create a, a AI content, I use the GPT four. Uh, you can use both. It don't matter, obviously. And I've got um, this prompt right here I'm going to use. It says, human written, 100% unique SEO optimized article. All right, we're going to put that prompt in. It's already right there. I'm going to make sure I'm using the latest version of Chat GPT, which is GPT-4, because it gives you the best uh, quality AI content. I do have some settings I use. I'm just going to keep it on default. I do have some settings that I use on a daily basis where I'm able to get 80 to 100% human, you know, original content that, uh, that a human wrote, that it comes up on both these AI detectors. And with a score of 80% above, Google saying they don't care about AI generated content. I don't believe that. I think they will eventually. But I think there's going to be like, it's it's going to be like 50-50. Sorry if it's used 50% um, AI generated content. 50% human. There's going to be, I think there's going to be like a percentage. Don't know what Google's going to do. That's just my guess. But to cover my bases, I like to make sure I pass all the AI content detector tools before spending my hard-earned time, energy, on uh, you know, creating content. Because I want it to rank, to get clicks, to get sales, and to build my business, obviously, as do you. So that's just my... But with 80% and above, that's pretty much safe. You, you can hit publish on it. And I have a way to do it straight out of chat GPT that I have a one hour video on that I can show you and a bunch of cool tips and tricks I use as well. The link will be below in the video description box. And all the tools that I'm showing you here are going to be down below in the video description if you want to check them out for yourself. So let's dive in here and I'm going to show you how these two tools perform. So how to create AI content effectively in 2023. I'm just gonna use that as an example for this article. I've already got the, this prompt I'm using and I have it on the latest model. So we're gonna click enter here and see what it comes up with. As, as you can see, this prompt's really cool. It's doing all the headers and all that stuff for you. Here's even a table that goes into and then it actually writes the article for you. I do not do it like this, but it is cool how it does this. This is just one of many prompts on AI PRM. I have a certain way of doing it that's a lot better than this, but this is just for to show you the power of these two tools and how well they detect AI content. So here's the article. We're, like, we're going to let it finish here. It's almost done. And then we're going to copy and paste this and go on over to our two tools, originality.ai and Winston, and see how they perform. And we're going to copy this. We're going to head over to originality.ai first, and that's it right here. And I, you can see I did a test article that was detected originality.ai detected it as 100% AI, which is good because that's what it was. We're going to refresh this. We're going to paste this in here. 
And the title of this we'll put in there. Which was... How to create AI content effectively in 2023. Put that in there. We're good. Now, this scan will cost me 10 credits. It tells you how many words it is. It's only 459 words. Everything's done. They're using the current AI detection model, which currently is 1.4. And there's also 1.1 previous, but you always want to use the current one. And you could detect for plagiarism and readability. It's going to cost you more credits if you check for plagiarism and readability. But I'm going to do that and detect AIs. So this scan will cost me 10 credits. I have a th little over 1,000 left. We're going to hit scan now. And we're going to wait for it to uh, get its results. See how well it can detect AI-generated content from ChatGPT. Takes a minute, should be about done. There we go. So it detected it. I didn't make any, like I said, I can I can get this way up. I'm just using this as an example to show you how good these tools are at detecting AI content. So this says 100% AI, it's straight up AI, which it was. So A plus for originality.ai and detecting this. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go over to Winston. And here's the Winston AI dashboard. You got a quick scan. You got the dashboard, projects, documents, and there's how many credits I got left right here. You can see I'm on the advanced plan. And we're going to click that quick scan here. Oops, let me put that as a document title here. Get rid of this. Put that here. We have to go over and paste this content back into here all right let's head back here and you can you can um, check for plagiarism and AI I'm gonna do both this one costs a lot more credits but you get a lot more credits so I don't know which is a better value to tell you the truth out of the two Still trying to figure that one out. They're both pretty cheap though, so. Let's do a scan text here. And this is Winston AI working its magic. Your results are on the way, please wait. View your results. All right, now this one detected 5% human, so 95% AI. So, which is really good as well. But if, as far as this test goes, originality.ai come up a little bit better detecting AI content, but they both work. Uh, plagiarism zero, readability score 48. The text has a readability score of 48 through 100 and has a US school college level, which means it is difficult to read. So you wanna get that score, uh, I don't know if it's higher or lower, but get it down to, you know, uh, high school or even junior high school level. So, so everybody reading your blog post or whatever you're using this for is, you know, can understand what you're saying. And this is how you can also generate a report, which is cool. And it tells you plagiarism results next to this as well. No plagiarism detected. And it outlines in red the AI. I believe this is in originality.ai. It's in red. I, I'm trying to th likely AI generated right here. And then the light color is possibly AI generated. So if you wanted to do, say if you got a, one of these articles you did yourself and it was 60% human, 40% AI, you can come in here and rewrite the ones in red. And then what I can do, you either re rewrite it by hand, there's an easy way to do it. There's an, also another tool I use called Undetectable AI. This is really cool. And it was really, it was dirt cheap to get this. So it's like literally pennies on the dollar. What you do is you paste all your AI generated content in here. I agree to the terms and you could put um, readability university, university, high school, doctorate, journalist, marketing, 
purpose, general writing essay, article, marketing material, story, cover letter, report, uh, business material, legal material. We're just going to put article and we're going to put high school to make it easy to read. And we want more human. And we're going to, you can check for AI here too and it'll tell you, we'll do that first. It's going to come up as AI generated, I'm sure. Actually, this one passed for some reason. Crazy. But copy leaks, well, you know it's AI generated. So what we're going to do is go in here and click humanize. And it's what it's going to do is it's going to rewrite the content for you and it's going to pass all AI detectors. And you could take this and go through originality or Winston, whichever one you're using, double check to make sure it comes up as human generated content. But um, you get a lot of credits on this for very cheap. Usually it catches all the AI content. I'm surprised in this one it didn't do that. It's a little bit weird. But more times than not, it catches it all. So, But this is a cool tool. Uh, let's go back here. We're going to do one more test. And I'm going to end this video. Just to double check on the um, results we're getting. We're going to do one more through this. We're going to do a fully app. We're going to do a different prompt here. And we're going to just use default on GPT-4. Okay. How AI will affect the modern workforce in the future. Something off the top of my head. All right, we got, we're using GPT-4 again, and we got that prompt in. Now we're going to wait for our results here. This must have a little bit. All right, it comes out with a title, a meta description. And we're going to do this one more time and declare a winner as far as AI detection goes. And then you can make up your mind if you want to check any of these out for yourself, any of these tools. Uh, like I said, the links will be below. But I really, check out my course. It's awesome. It's an hour long. I use chat GPT-4. GPT and like I said, I can get, I can pass AI detection uh, like 100% of the time. And then the one, the low score on the um, AI content that I get as opposed to human, I'll get like 85% human, 15% AI. I can get that up even higher by using these tools. So, But you don't need to, like I said. But I show you how to do that too. I got a bunch of cool tips in there. And I also optimize for SEO. I show you a tool I use for that. So your articles will outrank your competition. It's an awesome video. All right, so what we got here is how AI will affect the modern workforce in the future, unveiling tomorrow's workplace. Okay, that's our title. We're going to go over to... Con Originality.ai. We're going to run this bad boy again. Titles in there. Now we're just going to copy all this. Very short article. Now we're going to go back over here. Paste it in. 334 words. It's enough for detect AI content, so that's fine. And we're going to click scan now. And I'm going to show you the check plagiarism and readability on this as well. I think I forgot to do that on my last one, so I'll go over that real quick. Waiting for it to work its magic, and we'll see what it comes up with. Once again, it nailed it. 100% AI, 0% original. Plagiarism, 0% plagiarized. Readability. Now, this this uses the Flesh Kincaid Reading E score. Um, I didn't know what the heck that was until I read about it. Based on our readability score study, 70% of the top results in Google had a Flesh Kincaid Reading E score between 31 to 62.4. So that falls right in the middle. Perfect. But I think the higher the score, the easier it is to read. And then this, obviously the red, this sentence is very hard to read because they're shortening it. And that's on readability, AI results, the red, there's a hundred percent chance that this section is, was AI generated. And what you can do is 
copy all this the red parts rewrite it delete it or go over to undetectable AI paste it in there more human we'll do the check for AI and it keeps passing some reason for not sure why it's weird I put more maybe it's got such a little bit of content when I put more content in it usually detects it it's probably because it's such a it's such a um, what is this a hundred words that's probably why but we're, what we're gonna what we're gonna do now is click on uh, and then what you could do is run it through here and rewrite all these words it rewrites all the words like I showed you before but it's not letting me because it, it is appearing as human so I got to go with a little more here so let's try this again here Let's try this one more time here. See right here. So if you got that was only a hundred words. It's I think it's harder to read for them to tell if it's AI content unless it's I'd use it over three hundred words or whatever. See that your content is detected as written by AI. GPT zero open AI writer cross plug copy leak sampling content and scale zero GPT. Pretty much across the board I detected it. So like, like I said earlier, once you put longer posts in here that are, you know, I would use at least 500 words, if not a lot more, it'll it'll pick it up. I'm seeing if you're using like 100, 200 words, it's not really detecting it because it's too short. And now what you do here is click more human. Click that humanize button right here. And what this does is going to take all that content that was detected as AI and it's going to rewrite the whole thing. And it's going to tell you the detection likelihood. You pass in all, all these before it was all failing and it rewrote this and it sounds good. The rapid advancement of technology is revolutionizing, revolutionizing the way we work. It's important to understand how artificial intelligence, AI will impact the workforce and our careers. And you can kind of look at the, the computer the screen right now. You could tell you how well this was written if you don't like a word you can always switch it save you a lot of time and it passes AI detection so that's a little trick you can use this tool and it's dirt cheap like I said so all right we got uh, originality.a and now we're gonna go over to Winston and we're gonna run the same test here I'm going back get the title here and we're gonna paste that in here And you can put the author here, which is kind of cool. J. There we go. Now we're going to detect. We're just going to do AI in this one. We're going to scan the text and see who wins. Please wait. Your results are on the way. Scan completed. View your results. I kind of like how this is really professional. When your scans are done. The other one is too. Human score is 0%. Looks like uh, Winston AI nailed it. Tells you the readability score, the plagiarism score. It's a real similar to originality.ai, but I've heard this one's tougher. But as far as my testing goes, it's pretty much even. Um, originality.ai detected 100 both times. Winston AI detected um, 100 percent AI and then 95 percent AI so it was very close so originality.ai just edged it out barely as far as that goes but that's not a big deal they both detected that the content straight out of chat GPT was um, created with a chat GPT or an AI tool so that's that's what their job is so they both passed awesome tools I'm gonna take you through this is a dashboard this is Winston projects Documents, top-up credits, usage, how many credits you have left. I'm on the advanced plan. Um, it says Winston AI is the most trusted AI detector. 
It's an AI detection tool to help identify content generated with ChatGPT, GPT-4, BARD, Bing Chat, Claude, and many more large language models. And they do have a free plan. You get 2,000 credits to check it out for free. If you like what you see, featured in Business Insider, Forbes, Rolling Stone, BBC, The Guardian, Yahoo News. The only AI detector with a 99.6 accuracy rate. What we've seen originality um, was the same on par as uh, Winston, so they're both excellent. It actually beat it by a very, very slight margin. So they're both excellent tools. And here's the pricing plans for this. There's a free free one. Uh, essential plan, you get to up to 80,000 words scan for 12 bucks a month. Scan documents, scan pictures and handwriting, generate shareable PDF reports. There's a free one, you get 2,000 words to check it out for yourself. And there's an advanced one, which is 19 a month. 200,000 words. That's the one I use. Advanced AI detection, advanced plagiarism, email and chat support, scan documents, scan pictures and handwriting, generate shareable PDF reports, unlimited team members. And then back to originality. Uh, most accurate AI content detector and plagiarism checker for content marketers. Detect content from chat GPT, BARD, paraphrasing and GPT. PT4 AI detector built specifically for content marketers and SEOs. And here's the plans for these. And you can see the homepage here and you can read more about it if you wanted to. And here are the pricing plans. Pay as you go. Basically, with uh, originality, you're paying as you go. You're going to get... I put 20 bucks in at a time and then it refreshes if I get, you know, if I go over, I use all my credits, it'll automatically refresh 20 bucks and it's pretty, pretty cheap. One credit scans a hundred words and it tells you all about this and it's got readability scan, plagiarism scan, AI scan, file upload, shareable reports, basically a lot of the same features. So it's just how much you're going to be using it. Whereas this one is kind of pay as you go. And this one is monthly. Technically, they're both monthly because the way I, they have it set up is if you, you put your credit card information in there, unless you cancel, if you use all your credits, automatically refreshed. I don't know if I like that or not. Kinda, kinda not. It's convenient. I don't mind if I know a lot of people won't like that. But you can always just cancel and then you don't have to worry about any of it. With Winston AI, you're automatically on a monthly plan and they give you a lot more credits. But they charge a lot more credits, too, as far as how many credits per scan. So I don't know which one is a better value until I really deep dive deep into them and compare them side by side for value, which I probably will do later on down the road. But if you like this video, I hope I helped you out. If you've got any more questions about either one of these two tools, um, shoot me a comment in the comment section. I definitely highly suggest you check out my free Chat GPT training course, how I create undetectable AI content. I'm going to show you. It's an hour-long video, absolutely free, uh, how I create undetectable AI content that ranks on the first page of Google. You're going to want to check it out. I got some awesome tips in there. So choose yourself. I mean, they're both excellent tools. It's just, it's just going to be a matter of um, your preferences, what dashboards you like better. Um, if you want to pay on a monthly basis, you want to pay on you know, credits. Um and all that good stuff, but they're pretty much similar in detecting AI content. So I'm going to leave it up to you to decide who's the winner in your book. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that as well. And if you want to check these tools out for yourself, like I said, and my training course, all the links will be below. So feel free to check them out at your convenience. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.